Alright, today we're going to take 5-10 minutes and do the Little Glass Bottle DLC from day on, which was the adaptation of an HP Lovecraft story, which was pretty good. So. The Little Glass Bottle is a short 5-10 to 10 minute adaptation of a story by Howard Phillips Lovecraft, written when he was about 7 years old. Original words and spelling have been kept, and all profits go to humanitarian aid, which was a good thing. It's only 3 or 4 bucks, so, you know. Eve 2, there's something floating to the leeward. The speaker was a short, stockily built man whose name was William Jones. He was the captain of a small cat boat in which he and a party of men were sailing at the time the story opens. Aye, aye, sir answered John Towers, and the boat was brought to a standstill. Captain Jones reached out his hand for the object, which he now discerned to be a glass bottle. Nothing but a rum flask that the men on the passing boat threw over, he said. But from an impulse of curiosity, he reached out for it. It was a rum flask, and he was about to throw it away when he noticed a piece of paper in it. He pulled it out, and on it read the following. January 1st, 1864. I am John Jones, who writes this letter. My ship is fast sinking with the treasure on board. I am where it is marked on the enclosed chart. Captain Jones turned the sheet over and the other side was a chart. On the edge were written these words. Dotted lines represent course we took. Towers, said Captain Jones excitedly, read this. Towers did as he was directed. I think it would pay to go, said Captain Jones. Do you? Just as you say replied Towers. We'll charter a schooner this very day, said the excited captain. All right, said Towers. So they hired a boat started off governed by the dotted lines of the chart. In four weeks, they reached the place where directed. and the divers went down. Van Buren Phillips, Lovecraft's grandfather, was a very important figure in his life. As the writer said himself, my beloved grandfather became the center of my universe. Van Buren Phillips introduced his grandson to various works of art. He brought him from his travels, exchanged letters with him, and helped him develop his passions. He largely replaced Lovecraft's dead father. Interestingly, he also cured him of his fear of the dark by encouraging him to walk through a series of dark rooms. Young Howard's grandfather was probably the only family member to tell Lovecraft and provide mystery tales which undoubtedly influenced his later work.
and came up with an iron bottle. They found in it the following lines scribbled on a piece of brown paper. December 3rd, 1880. Dear Searcher, excuse me for the practical joke I have played on you. But it serves you right to find nothing for your foolish act. Well, it does, said Captain Jones. Go on. However, I will defray your expenses to and from the place you found your bottle. I think it will be $250, so that amount you will find in an iron box. I know where you found the bottle, because I put this bottle here. And the iron box. And then found a good place to put the second bottle. Hoping the enclosed money will defray your expenses, some I close. Anonymous. There are a few puzzling elements in the little glass bottle. For example, the number 25.0.00, which is not a typo as this amount appears in the text three times. It is not entirely clear why Lovecraft decided to write out the number this way and what he meant by it. While publishers and translators interpret it in various ways, in our opinion, he most likely meant $250. The map used in the game replicates the original version drawn by Lovecraft for the story. Did you notice that the land marked on it is signed as Australia? Is it no, sorry, mistake. A simple typo, or maybe young Howard was already creating his own lands and unknown islands in his imagination. It is also puzzling that the dates on the letters are both bottles, or almost 17 years apart. I'd like to kick his head off, said Captain Jones. Here, Diver, go and get the $250. In a minute, the diver came up bearing an iron box. Inside it was found $250. It defrayed their expenses, but I hardly think that they will ever go to a mysterious place as directed by a mysterious bottle. as it says, a little trip into the world of Lovecraft's childhood. His first story is seven years old. Before he wrote the good stuff. GG's.